Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Pisces. So Pisces, this is your weekly general reading for the 4th through the 10th of March 2019. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to go ahead and get all of your cards out, and then we will... We will go over them. I'm using the Sacred Traveler messages from your angels and the Druid uh, Craft Tarot for your main spread. Pisces, I also do uh, daily and monthly videos. If you'd like to go and check those out, that would be great. All right, let's see what Spirit has for Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. All right, Pisces. We are ready. All right, you guys. Central issue of the week. We have the Nine of Swords coming out here. Crossing you is the Prince of Swords. The Five of Swords is coming out in your foundation. Pisces, what is going on? All right, recent past, we have the star. Crowning you is the queen of wands. Your new circumstance is the ten of cups. So, from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy is the princess of swords. I do want to go ahead and clarify for you, Pisces, your situation of the week, which is the Nine of Swords. Spirit, what is this Nine of Swords as a situation for Pisces for this week? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, we have the Two of Cups. All right. Let me get this under here. Alright, I also want to clarify the Five of Swords and the Foundation for Pisces Spirit. What is this Five of Swords? What is this Five of Swords Spirit? Well, Five of Wands. Very interesting. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and let's start with your oracles, you guys. We're starting out here with grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. I feel like it's important, Pisces, this week for you guys to uh, show gratitude. Um, you know, not necessarily that means to others, but if you have had people that have helped you or, or people that you're very grateful for, it might be the week to express that and, and show that uh, uh, to them. As well as spirit and, and your angels and your spirit guides as well, you guys. Show gratitude. Light a candle. Um, light a candle for spirit. Um, being thankful for all that you've been blessed with. Because when you show gratitude and you show that you're grateful, it allows uh, that expansion uh, and growth to come in for the universe and spirit to keep blessing you. Okay? So, now we have Maya or Maya coming out here. Schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. Very interesting. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and start with the Princess of Swords. This is the overall energy. Um, this, can, uh, this is the energy of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Now, this is an energy right here of logic and reason. She's ready for action. She's holding that sword of truth. Um, and looking at your uh, reading right here, there's conflict uh, that's in the air. Uh, that's, it's either taking place or it's going to take place this week for, for someone. Um, you're wanting truth in a situation, I feel like. Pisces, and it's kind of one of those uh, deals where I'm going to get the truth no matter what, you know, it, it's going to happen now. This is something that you're very serious about, and you're going to make sure that it, it happens this week. 
Um, I do feel like this involves another person. This could be a relationship as well. Because the Nine of Swords here for your situation of the week. This is Sleepless Nights. Um, this is, you know, worry. You know, overwhelmed by your feelings or your emotions. Um, being very stressed out. And I clarified it with the Two of Cups here. So, the Two of Cups represent commitment, connection, uh, or partnership between two people. I feel like, um, especially looking at your reading right here, I feel like either you're not wanting to commit to a relationship right now, or someone's not wanting to commit to you, Pisces. And I feel like there's a truth that you are seeking out in order to possibly make this commitment. Uh, that something has to come, the air has to be cleared first, I feel like. Now, this could have to do, you do have a sword energy here. This is the Prince of Swords. Like I said again, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You guys could very well be dealing with an air sign. Does not have to be an air sign. This is somebody that's very frank, okay? He rushes in. He can be very impatient, okay? He can be tactless about how he says things. Um, he's very self-assured. He's He doesn't... He's not going to save anyone's uh, feelings, okay? He's just going to speak his truth or speak his mind. Does not mean that he's right, okay? And I feel like this is... Who's coming in here? Um, you're having a disagreement, I feel like, with this... This individual, okay? Uh, this can be male or female. Depends on, you know, who's watching, okay? There's been an argument. Um, this could be a significant other, you guys. Or this could be a partner. Uh, somebody that means a lot to you, I do feel like. Now, we do have the Five of Swords clarified by the Five of Wands. Here we go again. This is... There's an, you know, this is what's driving you. There's some type of argument. There's something in the air here uh, where maybe you feel like you've been defeated or this could have been a hollow victory as well. But this is feeling like you have limitations in a situation where there's conflict, okay, in, you know, you or someone else's interests. You're not agreeing on something. And it turns into arguments. Now, this is being clarified by the Five of Wands. And I don't feel like this is a healthy competition type deal. I feel like this is an inner struggle or inner battle that you're going through within yourself on how to deal with this situation or this individual, Pisces. I, I feel like it's keeping you up at night. Uh, this partnership, this commitment to someone. Um, you're just not quite sure... If you're ready for this or not, I feel like. Um, you're coming out of the past, the recent past, with the star here. This is Aquarius energy. This is the energy of uh, healing. Um, finding that balance. Healing. Divine healing. Um, uh, this is what you're coming out of. Spiritual guidance. Maybe having some type of spiritual freedom. Meditation. Meditation. You may not be, you may have just came out of a relationship, I feel like, Pisces, with someone. And I, I, I feel like you're giving this uh, something new here that has come in. Or some, maybe someone that is wanting to uh, have a relationship with you, possibly. And I feel like you may have just recently come out of a relationship that was not serving your, you well. And you it, it took some really deep deep healing to um be able to recover and move on and move forward and you're not ready you don't know if you're ready or not to maybe commit to somebody because i feel like this individual now this could be the individual that you was that this healing is coming from he could be coming back uh this could have been you know somebody that you had children with as well and you guys are still arguing, so you're like, I'm not ready for this yet. If it isn't, if this is a new relationship, a new commitment, I feel like you're looking at them and going, well, I feel like you're seeing some traits of the other person that you had to get away from and that you're healing. 
from that past relationship. I feel like you're seeing that person in them as well. Maybe some same traits going on there. But you've got your stuff together. You're showing up here. This is what's going on in your mind. This is what your this is your crowning energy, and I love this. You guys have a very bold energy coming through. You're on top of your game, okay? The Queen of Wands is coming through here. This is uh, the energy of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And she's a bad whammy jammy. I'm just going to tell you that right now. She's self-assured. She's upbeat. Uh, people go to her for advice. You know, she has that very attractive energy. Um, whatever she wants, whatever she desires, she goes after and she does it. Now, uh, this is a very bold energy. And this can be represent a male... Uh, it doesn't have to represent a queen if, if this is a, a, a male Pisces uh, watching. Um, I just feel like you guys are going to take control over this situation this week. The, the fire's lit up under your butt. You are going to, uh, I feel like, I feel like you're coming out of a space of healing and it's made you stronger. And this is going to help you be able to uh, make the decisions Stand up for yourself is what I'm getting with this as well, Pisces. You're standing up for yourself. You're taking a stand. You don't deserve this mental conflict. Okay? Whatever this person, whoever this is to you, it may not be a relationship. It could be a work issue. They're not, they don't have your best interest, I feel, at heart. You know this. And, it, you know, by God, look at, look at the expression on her face and she's holding her wand it's like by god you're not going to get this you're not going to get over on me it's not going to happen i'm not going to allow this to happen i'm not you know I, I can just feel like i hear you're saying i'm not dumb you know i'm not stupid uh you don't know who you're messing with you know that type of energy and you're you're ready to stand up and fight for what's right to you and for you now this is beautiful this is uh the new circumstance coming up here this is the Ten of Cups, you guys. Now, what, however this situ, whatever, however this resonates with you, you guys, um, you're going to be able to move forward with or without this individual in your life. You do have a happy home. You're content. Your cup is runneth over. This is the card of, you know, peace and harmony, family happiness. This could just be you and your partner having just a really, really hard time, okay? But it's all going to work itself out, I feel like, in the end, once you stand up for yourself and let whoever this is uh, know who they're dealing with, that you're not going to, they're not going to run over you, okay? Uh, which is, I feel like, is very positive. And with the Ten of Cups, this also represents there's more to come, you guys, more, a promise of more to come. So, I love this energy. Your cup is runneth over. I feel like you're going to be able to ex exercise your thoughts, your judgment. You're going to set some type of intention. And you're going to let it be known what, how, you know, what's going on. And you're not going to take this. You know, they're going to either be on the same page or they can get lost. I, honestly, I feel like this is what's going on here. All right, I love you guys. I thank you so much, Pisces. Um, I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And you guys know by now I read all of my comments. Please let me know what's going on here. Thank you, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.